Hello Internet, welcome back to the workshop. This is my plow. It's a 2000 Honda Rancher 350. I've been having trouble with it eating batteries. The plow, the winch uses a lot of electricity and then it also has heated grips and it's got LED plow lights. It typically runs off of one of these little motorcycle batteries. This is a YTX 14. So it works alright if you're using this as an ATV. But you add all these accessories, the charging system just can't keep this charged. 45 minutes of plowing from a full charge, it's dead. And my charging system is working perfectly. I've checked it, I've checked the regulator, I've checked the stator, everything works. It's, it's working like it should. So in today's video, I'm going to replace that original battery with a car battery. I'm going to mount this one remotely, I'm going to run cables down, and I'm going to connect it to the bike where the original battery connected. So I went to Walmart and I got a 24 group battery, a battery box, some terminals, and a pair of battery cables. So I'm going to relocate that battery right here, right behind the location where the original was. I'm going to completely ditch that original battery. So this is a piece of 3 16 inch steel plate. I've used this one for a motor mount, but I'm not using it now. I think it'll work out really well for this. I'm going to sit it right here, and I'm going to remove this rear rack, and I'm going to weld it in a couple spots. And then, I'm going to take that larger battery, and I'm going to bolt it to that plate. It's going to sit somewhere about like that. And then I can run the battery cables right down in, and tie them into the original cables. When I was looking on the internet to see what other people were using for batteries in their plows, I found several internet posts saying that it was the worst idea anybody could come up with. And I think they're full of crap. The general argument is that, oh, the little charging system on the ATV, it won't keep up and you'll fry it. I don't expect a 300 watt charging system to charge this battery. When I'm done plowing, I'm going to bring this in, pop the cover off, and charge it with a charger. So I'm going to pull this rear rack off, get the welder out. It's 20 degrees out and there's 6 inches of snow on the ground, so we're going to work in the shop. I'm going to clean this up, weld this plate in place, and then we'll put it back on. I'm going to take that battery box, drill holes in the bottom that align with the holes that are already in this plate, get that bolted down, and then I'll show you how I'm going to run the wiring and how I'm going to connect that up. I'm going to just bolt the battery box in place here with some fender washers and some bolts. I'm going to take a yellow pen and mark where I want it. But I'm going to use a hot soldering iron to burn these holes through. It will melt the plastic and leave a little ridge. And that is actually stronger than if you drill the hole. It's less likely to crack. One. Two. Three. I've marked the location for the holes in the plate in blue. I'm going to use the mag drill and we drill these out. I'm bolting these in place with some M6 hardware and some fender washers. The fender washers will distribute the force and keep the plastic from cracking. So get the battery in the box. I want to run the cables down and into the original battery location. I was originally planning to put the battery cables on and just have them run externally, but I don't think that looks very good. So I'm going to drill two more holes in the battery box here, and I'm going to route them down on the inside. There's about three quarters of an inch of space between the battery and the edge of the box. So we've got plenty of room. So I think I'll drill two holes here. This ATV has a plastic cover that sits in here and it covers this battery part of these electronics. That way you can remove it and get access to the fuse panel if you need to. I have already modified it once. 
I added clearance for the auxiliary fuse panel I put in a couple of years ago. So I'm going to take this and I think what I'm going to do is just cut some slots or notches, kind of like so. So I just drilled those out with a hole saw and then snipped them straight with the, uh, with the pair of side cutters. I'm using this style terminal. It uses a wing nut and the cable bolts to the terminal. My thought here is that I can hook the charger clamps directly to this to charge them. I think that'll be easy. And then in the summer when I don't use this, I can take the wing nut off, make the disconnection here and not have to mess with the terminal on the battery. I'm just bolting these together with six millimeter socket cap screws that I had on hand. I'm gonna do the positive side similarly to the negative side, except I'm gonna include some heat shrink. So I'll slide this over, bolt it together, and then I'll slide the heat shrink down over the entire connection, and I'll shrink it down. And that should provide some protection against accidentally arcing this thing out. I don't know the charge status of this battery. It's new. I got it just a couple hours ago. So I put it on the charger and I'm going to let it charge while I go get some lunch. When I come back, we'll take it outside and we'll plow the driveway and we'll see how this works. So I just finished plowing the driveway. I didn't have any trouble with electricity. This bike has electronic shift. It uses solenoids to shift a manual transmission. And as the voltage gets low, that will stop working. I didn't have any trouble with that. So if you've got an ATV like this, what you use for plowing, or if you're buying a plow or you're considering installing a plow, I highly recommend going to the bigger battery. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you're subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you. I really do appreciate that. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed watching this, would you consider subscribing? I put out videos about once a week. So I'm going to wrap this video up. I appreciate you all taking the time to watch this. Thank you.